Has Radovid's messenger been by? Yes, sir. And what did he say? Tamaria cannot survive. The kingdom will be divided. The nobles are riled. Constable Natalis stands on shaky ground. <laughs> the loyal old Natalis will get kicked in the ass. How predictable. And they nearly reached an agreement, but without Foltas' daughter, it didn't work out. Perfect. Are the quarters ready? There is a little problem. Then we must look at this problem. There's no door. We can't lock her in a doorless cell. I can see that, you fool. Out of my way! Uncle Deathmold will cast a tiny spell on your little house. Vasa Anem. We won't let that naughty Natalis get you. <sighs> Clear up in here. This is Loch Muin, not a bloody pigsty. Ah, <laughs> oh, bollocks, Geralt. Marshal Rorpenek was a cruel, bloodthirsty prick, true. But the times were different. He had his men murder every last elf in Loch Muin. For years, Jorveth and his ilk have been using that banner to wipe their asses clean of the shit they do. In wartime, a commander's forced to make all kinds of decisions. It's as simple as that. Yeah, and I'm sure it lay really heavily on Rorpenek's conscience. Bollocks again. I've already admitted he was a prick. Are you defending the Enshe? They've got barrels of blood on their hands as well. With the Vrans gone, we had to safeguard this source of the power, safeguard this historic city. Huh, elven driven. Heaps of lizard-like bones were found in nearby caves, all bearing traces of sword cuts. Uh, think what you will. I'm more interested in the city's current inhabitants. Why am I worried you're going to do something really stupid once we get there? Above all, I'll find the cure to my suffering. His name is Deathmold. Careful you don't step in some serious shit while looking for that cure. He will feel death consuming you. You're counting wyverns before they've hatched. <laughs> He's no wyvern. He's a rat with no sewer left to hide in. The Blue Stripes were more than a fighting force. I selected and trained those men myself. True, there were good days and bad. They weren't even given the chance to die in combat. You also lost your king, Vernon. Don't forget why you embarked on this mission. I haven't. If Letho and Sheila are in Loch Muin, they'll never leave it alive.
Knights of the Order. This is the last place I'd expect to see Knights of the Flaming Rose. They're here with Radovid. After losing their foothold in Temeria, they rebuilt their position at the Redanian court. You best stay out of sight. You never know with those bigots. Yeah, we also had a little disagreement recently. They could be holding a grudge. I'll explain that your presence in Loch Muin is necessary. What now? What can we expect to see in the city? Separate camps, buffer zones, and frequent patrols. Well, that's how it should be organized if those mages from the Conclave have any sense. Ah, another area of your expertise. The Peace of Sintra was signed on April the 2nd, and all around was quiet, calm, and orderly. If you don't count Henselt's rules and the all-night festivities of the Mahakam Volunteer Army. And the common folk were positively thrilled with the parade that followed. Yet, not one of those fuckers even knew that I, and a few others like me, spent a week poring over the city map and devising a way to keep those crowned idiots separate, just in case one decided to deal the next blow in a long-standing feud. In any case, I hope to see something similar here. Relax. The mages want royal gold. They'll make sure all the sources of financing remain alive and present, at least until the inevitable quarrel over the Pontar Valley breaks out. Well, we'll see if there is indeed a way where there's a will. If we're separated, we'll meet up again in the main square. Fine. Halt! Who goes there? Vernon Roach, in the service of the Kingdom of Temeria. Pass through then. One more thing, the Witcher Geralt of Rivia is with me. I trust you'll let him pass if he turns up. We're to let Faltest's killer through. I'm after the real Because Geralt will put me on his trail. If you say so, none of our concern. Temeria's internal affairs. Halt! Who goes there? Geralt of Rivia. I'd slaughter you like a dog if it wasn't for Vernon Roach. I'm not a Kingslayer. I don't care if you killed Faltest. You stood against us, and the Order never forgets.
I remember you from Vizima. So many crowned heads in one place. You must be pleased. Roach may trust you, but I'm not so sure. What do you want? Representatives of the Council of Regents. Did any come with you? Only Baron Kimbolt and Count Maravel. The other five remain in Vizima. It seems that save Baron Orval, most spend their time trying to devise a way to undermine Anais's claim to the throne. Kimbolt and Maravel. What's their stance? Well, they've taken opposing positions, as one might expect. The Baron believes Anais's origin, if you will, stands in the way of her taking the throne. Though it's common knowledge that he would simply prefer to seat himself on it. Whereas Maravel has said that Foltest's children have his full support. He stated this in Vizima before the entire council. One thing is certain, words come cheap. Those two may change their minds in a flash if Anais is found and recovered. Impressive summit, but not all the players have their representatives here. The most important do. The Majors thought about inviting everyone, but time is short. I've seen a Nilfgaardian delegation. Scandalous as I see it. They're here at Henselt's bidding. Before long, he'll be inviting them to his war councils. The mages will want to get as much as they can out of this summit, and monarchs don't generally like others dictating terms. This may end in a row. There will be no row. The mages now rely on the mercy of the Northern Kingdoms. The amphitheater itself is also protected by an anti-magic shield, like the one used at Thanet. The times of mage impunity are gone. They will be shown their place. What can I do for you? Do you play dice? Would you like to join us? Anyone else I can challenge to a game around here? Two mages. 
But they refuse to play us. They only play masters, but beat us, and who knows? Sure. Who would you like to play? to play dice. Congratulations. You've won. Thanks for the game. How can I help? I want to play dice. I could use some coin. Shall we play now? You've won. Who can I play next? My apprentice. She's a mere learner in magic, but she's a true master in dice. Yes. Let's play dice. Shall we? Deserve this coin. Who else can I play? The incredible Lockhart. Sounds arrogant. Where do I find him? Somewhere around the market, most likely. Thanks. Son of a bitch. Stop looking at me! Baron Raven and Kimbolt, I presume. Does that witch's code of yours exempt you from court etiquette? Does it grant you the right to speak to the Highborn without being asked to do so? I guess I don't need to introduce myself. Oh no. I know who you are. Geralt of Rivia. 
Foltest's other favorite hound alongside Roach. Not purebred. They say you bring trouble wherever you appear. They're gonna re-establish the Conclave. I didn't expect so many Temerians to show up for the ceremony. We're not here for some magic pomp and circumstance. This is about celebrating a new order in the Northern Kingdoms. Is that so? Your kind doesn't understand this yet, but your life is about to change. Forever. My kind. Wanderers and scoundrels. People, and I use the term loosely, without loyalty or country. People for whom coin is the law and everything's for sale. What'll happen to Temeria? Is that a note of nostalgia I hear in your voice? Remembering your service under Faultist or recalling some romp in the sack with the royal advisor? Whichever it may be, spare me your courtesy. You don't care a lick about my country. I know what I care about. That's why I asked. Understand this. I'm talking to you only out of respect for Fortest. Out of remembrance for him. I haven't seen much evidence of that remembrance, aside from the rewards on my head. They'd have hanged you if not for the testimony of little Anais. So the girl finally talked. Whoever that monk was, to me, he was just like you. I didn't kill Foltest. That's just one of the things that makes us different. Really? What else? Honor? Principles? I'm a witcher. I don't kill humans for coin. Are you certain it's not just a question of price? Tell me, Geralt. What were you doing at Foltest's side that unfortunate day? Triss Marigold. I was there for her. In that case, you killed many for that woman. I hope she was worth it. You're a paid thug. Even if you refuse to acknowledge it. That murky set of principles, values call them. You cast them in the nearest corner when the price is right. I'm not for sale. I'm not talking about coin, Witcher. As a freak, you want what you're most often denied. Camaraderie. Respect. Love. It is for those things that you scale walls and murder innocents. That is your price. You're right. I should have turned Foltest down. The royal entourage is no place for a Witcher. We were supposed to leave after the battle, Triss and I. Foltest had already consented. I should have left before the battle. I take it you sit on the Council of Regents? Not for much longer. Why is that? The Council will become obsolete. Temeria is a country one rules with a crown on one's head, or not at all. A lot of people are out to don that crown. But few have the right. As Foltest's cousin, the throne should be mine. Or the royal daughters, Anais Lavalette's. Dark will be the day when we are ruled by bastards. The nobles have decided to share power. You said it yourself, Baron. In a crown or not at all. Temeria will be divided into provinces. A shameful end to the monarchy. A shameful end to the country. a kind of sorcerer. Ah ha ha ha! Geralt of Rivia, I am delighted to see you among the living and the free. Are you serious, Count? Such an injustice to lock you up without so much as a hearing. And then the beatings, the torture, it's barbaric. Barrack, I tell you, based on pure prejudice, the presumption of guilt. Actually, if I'd seen what they saw. Uh, but alas, such is my homeland, filled with fear and thus ruthless, cold as stone, dark and severe in aura and mindset. I suppose there's some truth to that. A response at once cautious and reasonable. Admirable qualities in and of themselves positively required in your profession. If you say so. 
But tell me, Witcher, what brings you here? Are you nipping at the heels of Foltest's killer, close to beheading the wretch as I expect is your style? Do you require my assistance? I just have some questions, Count. Well, ask away by all means. I am finding you a skilled, if slightly reticent, conversationalist. I've got to say you stand out, Count. I'm flattered, I suppose, but what specifically do you mean? I haven't quite put my finger on it, but take a look around. Would you say you resemble your countrymen? I thank the gods I do not. It is because I love my homeland that I am the first to note its faults, and they are many. Care to elaborate? Hypocrisy? Superstition? Lack of learning? Need I go on? If you wouldn't mind. Take you witches, for instance. The gods know we suffer a plague of beasts. Pre-conjunction, post-conjunction, magically bred and sprung from rotting marshes and the dark abysses of our land. No such thing as pre-conjunction creatures. Uh, you bite unnecessarily. We have but one remedy for this plague, dwindling in numbers as it may be. Yet it is a remedy we revile. You are shunned spat upon, turned away on stormy nights. Would you say this is reasonable? It's the way of things. Spoken like a true representative of a dying species. What brings you to Loch Muin? Concern for my country, Witcher, and an express and somewhat surprising request from Constable Natalis. Surprising? How so? Surely you jest, Witcher. Truth be told, few could marshal loyal forces matching mine on such short order, a Baron Kimbolt accepted. Yet, though I very much held Foltest's trust, I cannot say that many of my Temerian peers feel the same way. Why do you suppose that is? They resent me. I share neither their customs nor their beliefs. Morning, men. Morning, Morning Commander. Commander. Company fall in. Tension! Know what attention means, you fool? Aye, sir. Where are you from? From Berka, Commander. You've got shot us for brains, you bumpkin. Aye, sir. At ease! We all serve the Emperor, be it in Nilfgaard or here. Semper Fi! We serve him faithfully and effectively. If anyone gives me reason to doubt this, I shall skin him alive. Aye, Commander. Do well by the Emperor, and the Emperor will do well by you. You shan't regret it. Understood, ladies? Long live the Emperor! The Emperor! Formation! Forward march! Hell's bells, who do we have here? Witcher Geralt, the seeker of square coins. What do you want? Last time Zivik stuck his nose in. This time, he's not around. Fight! Let me guess. Behold, the mighty Numa, and I am his apprentice. Way to spoil my fun. 
The mighty Numa breaks the necks of bulls, bends iron bars, defeats everyone. Numa. His secret lies in the mushrooms and herbs cultivated in Elanda and picked in the mornings by virgin priestesses. They can be yours for a very reasonable price. You the mighty Numa? Who's asking? Someone who wants to see if your nickname suits you. Then come to the circus and watch me rip off the plowing chains wrapped right round my body. You've got a big mouth. And you've pissed off the mighty Numa. Put down your coin and give me your hand. I've always been the curious sort. They say witches are tough, but you, in the circus, you could maybe kick a clown's ass. Pangrat warned me that you cheat. What would that slut for sale know about the mighty Numa? I expect sluts for sale know the likes of you best. Fact is, you could only get that kind of strength from potions. Fuck you! You're as loaded with potions as squirrel shit is with nuts! I was clean during our bout. You're a con. They should call you Numa the Cheater. One more word and I'll shove your tongue so deep down your throat it'll come out your asshole. How will you do that? You'll lose your coordination when you're headless. Why the aggro? I don't need any aids. I'm still the best without them. You lose, Sonic. I'm looking to earn a few orans. You can only lose them with the mighty Numa. You a thief? I don't have to steal. I kick everyone's ass when it comes to arm wrestling. Care to try me? I've always been the curious sort. Tulay's ticks! No one's ever beaten me! There's always a first time. If I give you something, will you keep this to yourself? The circus finds out I lost, they'll can me. The mighty Numa must be invincible. Take this and keep your trap shut. Please. Alright. Thanks. Greetings. Nice place. Many thanks for the compliment. Welcome to the Eternal Fire. Kitchen open day and night? It's not that kind of fire. The Eternal Fire is the light of truth. The hearth of a true community. Only in the Eternal Fire beneath the sign of this clan can we burn witches all day and man is fellow man.
idiot! The audacity! Break your wands! Pull yourself burn together! Your hats. Turn away! How are things? You're either very unobservant or very rude. I thought I'd meet some of my colleagues from years past, chat with them and reminisce. But they all turn their heads away and treat me like a... Mages aren't known for being polite. You're telling me. They threw me out of Bannard the first chance they got. Must have beaten the Chancellor one too many times. They've all forgotten me and I believe I've had enough. I'm getting rid of the grimoires and amulets. I don't want anything to do with mages. I'd like to cast an eye at those if you don't mind. Sure. Cast both if you want. Anything on the Wild Hunt in your collection? I'd avoid the topic altogether. Nothing good has ever come to those who have delved. I'll take my chances. I need to know why the Wraiths carry off youths. What happens to them? This knowledge has never been recorded. Which does not mean it cannot be acquired. Well, I'd like to acquire it. In the chasms beneath Loch Muin, there is a sword that once belonged to an elf from the parallel world. And nobody's gone to look for it? There are mages who seek it still, but the sword is well concealed. They say he who handles it will understand the essence of the wild hunt. Could that be true, though? I'd like to play dice poker. Want to play now? You just ended a lifelong winning streak. And you owe me some coin, or you can pay in kind. What's your preference? Show me what you got. I can give you runes to enhance your sword, an element that'll reinforce your armor, or one of the designs from my collection. I'll take the runes. Fine choice. Here they are. Leave the royal courts, pour venom into rulers' ears, 